A storm is brewing within the ranks of Zimbabwe's ruling party, ZANU-PF, as the announcement of President Emerson Umningagwa's planned retirement at the end of his term ignites a fierce battle for the coveted leadership position. The revelation has sent ripples through the party, with factions coalescing around potential successors, casting a long shadow over Zimbabwe's political landscape. Umningagwa's decision, confirmed in a recent address to party members, marks the end of an era for ZANU-PF. Having assumed the reins in 2017 following the ousting of longtime leader Robert Mugabe, Umingagwa's tenure has been characterized by promises of economic reform and political stability. However, his retirement plans have now opened the floodgates for power struggles within the party, as various factions vie for dominance. The announcement has sharply divided ZANU-PF into two main camps those advocating for leadership renewal and those seeking continuity with the old guard. The faction pushing for renewal argues that fresh leadership is essential to revitalize the party and the country. We need new blood to tackle the pressing challenges Zimbabwe faces today. It's time for a generational shift, said Dr. Pedzasai Rahania, a prominent Zimbabwean political analyst. This group is reportedly rallying behind younger leaders who they believe can inject new energy and ideas into the party. On the other hand, the traditionalists within ZANU-PF argue that maintaining continuity is crucial for the party's stability and for safeguarding its legacy. Sticking with the experienced leaders ensures that we don't lose the progress we've made. It's about stability and preserving the ethos of ZANU-PF, said Professor Eldred Masanungir, Another respected political analyst, several high-profile figures have emerged as potential successors, each with their own bases of support and political strategies. Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, a key player in the 2017 coup that brought Umingagwa to power, is seen as a leading contender. His military background and close ties with the security apparatus make him a formidable candidate. However, a new twist has emerged in the succession narrative, casting doubt on Umningagwa's commitment to stepping down. Political opponents and critics believe that the president has no intention of relinquishing power and will continue to explore ways to extend his stay. This sentiment was echoed by MDCT leader Douglas Mwanzora during an X-Space debate titled, Umningagwa's Succession, Is the ED 2030 Campaign Dead in the Water? Organized by Newsday on Thursday evening. The opinion is that President Umingagwa said I am not going to run for a third term as Zimbabwean president. That is not what President Umingagwa said, Wanzora stated. He said he would not stand again as a ZANU-PF president. He did not talk of national presidency, and this is where people are being taken for a ride. If the president was of the opinion that he was ruling out running for national presidency, he would have said that. It is not necessary that you be a president of a political party to be elected a president of a country. Mwanzora's sentiments were echoed by former Foreign Affairs Minister Walter Musembi, who was forced into exile at the height of the November 2017 military coup that deposed the late former President Robert Mugabe. This is not the first time a succession battle is unraveling in ZANU-PF and the results are often unexpected as politics is full of twists and turns. When Robert Mugabe was elected for another term in 2013, his advanced age 89 sparked questions about his long-term leadership and who would succeed him. His reluctance to discuss succession, coupled with his declining health, fueled internal power struggles within ZANU-PF. Joyce Majuru, a prominent Liberation War veteran and vice president, was initially seen as a potential successor. However, Mugabe's wife, Grace, launched a campaign of attacks against Majuru, leading to her dismissal and expulsion from the party. Emerson Umningagwa, another Liberation War hero, replaced Majuru but also became a target of Grace's attacks and was eventually dismissed from his position. This created an opportunity for Grace to position herself, with her husband's support, as the sole candidate to succeed him. However, Umningagwa's removal sparked a reaction from the military, led by General Constantino Chiwenga, who threatened intervention if ZANU-PF continued purging veterans. On November 15, 2017, the military seized power, 
placing Mugabe under house arrest. The military action was presented as an operation to target those surrounding Mugabe, who were blamed for the country's economic and social problems. The military's intervention led to widespread public demonstrations calling for Mugabe's resignation, and within ZANU-PF, support for Mugabe dwindled. At a meeting of the party's central committee, Mugabe was removed as party leader and replaced with him Ngagwa. Grace was also removed from her position and expelled from the party. ZANU-PF demanded Mugabe's resignation and threatened impeachment. On November 21, Mugabe resigned and Umingagwa, who had been chosen to serve out the remainder of Mugabe's term, returned to Zimbabwe and was inaugurated as interim president on November 24. 2017. The succession battle within ZANU-PF is now more complex than ever. While Umingagwa's initial announcement of stepping down appeared to signal a transition, the recent comments from political opponents and critics suggest that the president may be seeking to prolong his hold on power. This uncertainty adds another layer of intrigue to the already tense political landscape, raising questions about the future of Zimbabwe's democracy and the potential for a protracted power struggle within the ruling party.